I'm going to select to create a new circuit. Change the automatically created file name to something meaningful. This one will be controlling an LED with push button switch. In my previous circuit, I just had a battery, a resistor, and an LED. This time I'm going to add in a switch that I can push to turn it on and off. Or more to the point, when I depress the switch, the light will come on. I'll use this, the circuit depicted in the image, a simple circuit with push button switch. As was the case with my last circuit, I required a resistor so that I didn't destroy my LED. I'm going to add in a push button this time and I'll still require my 9 volt battery. What's different with this circuit from my previous is I won't just be wiring these up, I'll be actually placing my components in what's called a breadboard. And when I search up breadboard I have a few options. I'm going to opt for the small breadboard and drag it in to my image. I'm going to take my push button and I'm going to let it straddle the line here. I'll move my battery up slightly. I'm going to drop my LED in. My resistor will need to be rotated. Put it in like so. Just zoom in a little to make this a bit easier to see. I'm going to use a black wire to connect from my ground to my push button, which means when I push this button, I'll be able to make a connection between these two points. You see the resistor is in line with that point. So I will need to have my LED in line with that one. And all that's left is to connect one of these up to my power source, like so. Now I can connect my battery. So at this point, if I was to start my simulation, I don't see my LED come on, but when I push my button, my LED lights up. I take my finger off my mouse or trackpad and my LED is no longer lit up. So it's only when I depress that button will it light up. So unlike a light switch in a, in a room, that when I turn it on, it continues to hold that connection. I have to manually press this button to have that, that uh, flow of current through the circuit. 